Greetings again from Multnomah University. I'm Dan Lockwood, Multnomah's president, and welcome to another edition of Conversations with Dr. Dan. In the last couple of months, we've been looking at institutional core values at Multnomah. We've talked about scriptural centrality and Christ-like spirituality. And today I want to talk about a third, institutional integrity. This simply means that we are committed to being above reproach in all aspects of our university. Institutional communication, financial stewardship, and the equitable treatment of all persons, faculty, staff, students, alumni, and friends. Communication. I never realized how important and how difficult good communication can be until I became president. Of course, I realize how important it is to communicate externally, and our print materials and these video clips are our efforts to communicate transparently and consistently with you some of the exciting things that are happening at Multnomah. But that communication also depends on good internal communication. And with the transitions that have taken place over the last five years, never has that been more important than now. So I restructured my leadership team into a president's executive council, a chief financial officer, a chief academic officer, and a chief administrative officer, as well as myself, that oversees all aspects of our institution, both academic and staff. They are wonderful supervisors and excellent communicators. Plus, we work well together as a team. There is a, a trust and a transparency that exists among the members of this council. I hope that you pray for us that we will continue to be ruthlessly realistic, but never give up hope as we plan for the future under God's guidance. Financial stewardship has always been a high priority for Multnomah. We are members of the Evangelical Council on Financial Accountability, have been for many years, and just recently were reaffirmed as a member in good standing for the next five years. We have qualified CPAs on our business office staff. We try to implement consistently the best practices for investment, for handling contributions, and for controlling our finance and budget. We have a board of trustees and a finance committee that takes their role very seriously and works well with our staff. I want to thank you for the trust that you have placed in Multnomah. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your financial giving. Thank you for partnering with us as we move ahead in the next year and in the years to come to complete our mission for the Kingdom of God.